I'm going to rebuild a Tokyo Marui Spetsnaz. My friend gave it to me um, in a bag and uh, I said I'd be able to put it together and see if there's any faults or problems. I noticed a few problems, um, one of them being the cable was not long enough for the motor. Um, I think it had been rewired in the past so um, I did actually solder another length of cable on so now it reaches through this groove which is quite important when you're putting the handle back on you'll see this later in the video uh, the other fault is this thread which is the end of the barrel came off um, so I've got some well Araldite liquid metal. Hopefully that will fix that problem. And uh, there was just some damage on this cable, which didn't warrant cutting back and remaking the plug. So I just put some uh, insulation tape just to protect it. But uh, that, that that should be okay. That should be fine. So to start off with. Um, we need to assemble the trigger mechanism with the gearbox and the motor into the uh, lower uh, receiver. So I'll we'll just uh, Slide this in like so. Try and get this plug to uh, come out at the back where the stock is going to fit. Literally, this was handed to me in a bag of just like this, just bits. <laughs> so, we'll see how this. Reassembly goes. Make sure the cable fits into these two grooves front and back just want to make sure that the cable is not getting pinched and uh, you can't squash the cable in any other position otherwise the top part of the receiver will not fit on so I see if we can level this up there's my plug ready for the battery side is looking good. That's looking good. Now we need to attach the uh, selector switch to select between safe, semi and full auto. These items should be in here. There we go. That's what I need. And there's the selector switch. So now I need to make sure this is fully bedded into the bottom. Give it a good push. Again, just double check my cable. Don't want it to Went to snag. Okay. And on we go with the selector switch. This is uh, grooved up so it will only fit one way. Just 
double check that's going in right. Seems to be a bit of cable, excess cable down here that might be stopping it from seating down correctly. So I'm going to try and pull that up just for now, just so I can get this in. this cable down into that gap. There we go, fits in better. Should be a motion there. Little screw, keep it all in place. Should be safe. Yep. Semi. Sorry, that's full auto. Semi auto. Okay. So just check once more. Definitely. That's how I want it to be. Okay. Next part. Front part of the barrel. This should slide in like so. And carefully lining it up with the uh, lower receiver. See it's sliding directly over the front of the piston. Again, check the cable's not snagged up. It's very important when the top part of the receiver goes on. Okay, that's in nice. Let's find some little screws for this. Be two long ones and two short ones. So, do that part of the assembly. Screw over for that. So these will slot in like so. And tighten these up. These are countersunk, so it is important to make sure that they are, they are flush with the surface, um, especially where the magazine is to fit, which is this area. Uh, these are nice and flush. Uh, that's exactly how I want it. Okay. Uh, Next part, 